Welcome to the shoulder and shoulder girdle. As you can see from these images, we have an anterior posterior shoulder on the bottom right, and we have an anterior view on the top left. Some of the major points of bony tissue can be found on this third slide. Please identify 1 through 19 on the images utilized in slide number 2. Here are some soft tissue landmarks that you must know. Please identify them on slide 5. As we've said many times, always check for abnormal motion, especially in the shoulder. This could occur because of pain or loss of function. Always compare bilaterally and always see if something looks so abnormal that it could be a dislocated glenohumeral joint. These are more bony landmarks of the shoulder you must be able to identify. Items 8 through 17 are further bony landmarks that you must know. Anterior zone, the rotator cuff. Four primary muscles, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. These four muscles are pivotal in any sport where the arm is utilized. The axilla is also known as the armpit. These are all soft tissue structures you must be able to identify. Other extremely important muscles of the shoulder include sternocleidomastoid, the pectoralis major, the bicep, the deltoid, all three parts of the trapezius, the rhomboids muscle, the latissimus dorsi, and serratus anterior. Range of motion has not changed since the beginning of the year. We have active, resistive, and passive. Always remember abduction and adduction. Extension and flexion are included on this slide, and you see the major muscles that provide that motion. Internal and external rotation are extremely important in any sport that throws or has that type of motion. Scapular elevation, retraction, and protraction are both very unique motions limited only to the scapula. Jurgensen's test and the drop arm test are two diagnostic tests needed to evaluate and diagnose shoulder injuries. Both are shown on our YouTube website. Shoulder apprehension test and the sulcus test are also shown on our YouTube website. The slaps test, which checks for a labral tear, is also demonstrated on our YouTube website.